Uh, let's speak to James, he's a West Ham fan. See, I said you can talk about whatever you want. 087172 Hello, James. All right, Jimbo. Hi, you're right, fellas. Yeah, we're good. How are you? What happened to your I'm... team at the weekend? Oh, that, well, first of all, before I start, fellas, I think you guys are the best lot on radio. Honestly, you are fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's Cheers, nice, Jimbo. James. Thanks, man. You can have as long as you want now. Cheers. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start off by saying with the Fabian Balbuena red cards, I appreciate how difficult it is for referees and match officials. I'm a qualified ref myself. You know, we've all had our bad days and everything. But for the ref to have seen that originally, given the yellow, and then see it again in slow motion on the VAR and still send him off. James, is an app- James yeah. I, I, I saw it. I thought it was a red card, right? Here's my, here's my question to you. Right, yeah. and, and I'm only saying this because Dermot has, has made us think like this with these type of incidents, and we're, we're hearing from Dermot, former Premier League ref, in the next hour. Yeah. If if he would have been kicking, or if if it's, instead of the opponent's calf, it would have been his own child's face there, right? Seriously, would yeah. he have been able to get his foot out of the way? Um, no, but that's a completely different situation. No, isn't the, it? the reason I'm because... saying that is he. Is he making a conscious decision to carry on with with the trajectory of his foot or not? Because I think he could have pulled out of that. I don't think so. I think it would have been very, very difficult for him. Because you think about it. Chilwell's the one essentially coming in to try and win the ball, isn't he? He's, he's gone in. You know, he's gone in at speed. OK, he's got hurt or whatever. But Chilwell's the one making the decision. It's a natural movement for your foot to come down. You know, okay, you're not well, going to start... Let's ask Jay, Jay, you've been at a so certain no, half. I, I was at the game, James, and um, not that makes any difference, but but um, when when the... Inc- I didn't see the incident initially because it happened so quickly, but then you look on the on the, on the monitor. Now, I know that I'm... And I'm speaking on behalf of Andy. We're in the minority here. I think it's a red card, and I'll tell you why. A lot's been made of the follow-through and where he's got to put his foot, and I buy all of that up until the point that he then forces his foot down. I think he knows what he's doing. I think he's took advantage of a situation and he's tried to hurt Chilwell. I'm not, I'm not saying that, that up until the point, and everything I agree with David Moyes, when he clears the ball, then as his foot comes down, I think he knows what he's doing. But I think the point, I mean, the whole sort of thing we keep hearing over and over this season is all clear and obvious, clear and obvious. I think the fact that we're having this debate at all kind of proves the fact I, that it's that's not fair. clear and obvious. I think, I think do you, you know, know what? I think that's a fair comment. I think it's a really fair yeah. comment, James, because it's... I, I've been listening to talk sport today and listening to lots of people. The vast majority of people I really respect, the vast majority of them don't think it's a red card. Mm. So I am in the minority. But I, I looked at it again today and I looked... Because when I'm, the reason I mentioned it was, was again, you only get one look on a monitor. You don't get that many. So I didn't see many of the replays that people might have seen at home. Okay. When I got him, I'd look at it, and I'm like, if you watch what he does when he lands, he then, go, he then forces his foot down. He doesn't have to do that, and I think he knows what he's okay. doing.